Hello, this is Noseman from the Max on Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to find the direction of the sun when you're using a panorama, an HDR, and transferring that direction to an infinite light so that you can create the shadows that are sharper but still very accurate. In this scene, I have this dome light, and the dome light has this image that has a sun, and it, the sun it's actually creating this shadow over here. What I want to do is find a way to place an infinite light in the correct orientation so that it will produce these shadows identical to what the panorama is giving me. And here's the way to do it. Let's turn off the IPR and let's get rid of everything in the viewport. Let's go and create a camera and let's view through it. Go to the coordinates and set the position to zero, 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 so that we are viewing the world from the center of the world. Now, with the camera selected and active, use your three navigation key to navigate around and try and locate where the sun is approximately. At this point, if you want to be even more accurate, you can go to the camera, display, composition, and in the overlays, you can get the crosshairs. So now you have these little crosshairs. The second thing you can do is go to your actual dome light and use the exposure just to make it a bit darker so you can see exactly where the sun is. Now I'm pressing the three key again, and I'm going to place my crosshairs exactly there. Let me go and reset this value. And from this point onwards, this camera is pointing directly to the sun. I can use this camera now as a parent to an infinite light. Make sure the infinite light has all the transforms reset. So it's pointing in exactly the same direction. And then I don't need the camera anymore because I just stole the camera's orientation. Go to the light and use your rotation tool to rotate the light 180 degrees so it points from the sun. And that's all you need to do. This infinite light has exactly the correct orientation so that it imitates the sun in this panorama. So let's turn everything on. Let's turn on our IPR. And what you will see over here is that if I turn off my image and let's uh, increase this let's say three and you can see that the shadows are identical and you can use this light to enhance your shadow sharpness intensity and even add a bit of hue to your scene without actually changing the hdr you are using if you enjoy our quick tips please like comment subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip